NSA Director General has called TikTok a loaded gun because so many Americans rely on it, uh, both for social media and they say they get their news from TikTok. Does the President, does the administration agree with that assessment? I'm just not going to get ahead of uh, any any comments that's been made on TikTok uh, at this time. Again, CFIUS is looking at, is doing a review. We're going to let them do their review. We've been clear about our concerns, express our concerns with the software, uh, this particular app, because we, the President, believes that it's important to, to protect uh, the privacy and the safety of Americans. It's important uh, to protect our national security. But I'm not going to get ahead of the review. Again, we're going to sh we're, we're showing and we've been very clear in supporting the bipartisan legislation. Let me try it this way. Does the president think that Americans should be on TikTok? Again, I'm not going to I'm not going to speak to uh, to that. What I can speak to is what the president believes that he needs to do, which is making sure that the safety and privacy of Americans are protected, uh, and he'll speak to that. But I'm not going to speak to, to actions that the American people should take or not take. I'm follow up on the video that was released of the drone. Given that it clearly refuted the initial accounts that were offered by the Russians about what happened. Is there a broader impact on U.S.-Russia relations? In other words, has it made an already incredibly tense relationship worse? Do you mean, is it going to lead to escalation? Well, look, a couple of things there. Uh, and we've been clear, the Pentagon has been clear, my colleagues at NSC has been clear as well, the actions by Russian pilots uh, in international airspace were, were reckless and dangerous. Uh, we have raised those concerns directly with Russian leadership, and we will continue to exercise our rights in international airspace. Uh, clearly, we do not seek armed conflicts with Russia. We maintain direct lines of communication for reasons like this to minimize risk of escalation. But again, we do not seek armed conflict with Russia, uh, and so I'll leave it there. One more, if I could, on the Willow Project. In addition to the environmental groups, there are a lot of young voters who are criticizing um, the president green lighting um, an oil drilling venture in Alaska. What is his message to those young voters who feel like this is a betrayal? Look, this is a, the message is this. This is a president that has delivered on the most aggressive climate agenda in the United States history. Uh, and he's going to continue to do that. And he has he has the receipts for it, right? He has conserved more land and water in the first year than any president since JFK. He has fully closed off the U.S. Arctic Ocean to new oil and gas leasing. He has secured record investment in climate resilience and environmental justice. And his economic agenda is fueling an unprecedented clean energy manufacturing boom that is bringing energy costs down, reducing America's resilience on oil, and finally putting us back on track to meet our clean energy projects. Again, this is a president who has done more on climate change than any other president in history, and he's committed to it, and he's going to continue to do so.